So you raise an excellent point, uh, the staffing issue. And I, I've talked to a lot of people in the industry who've said, this isn't a staffing crisis, this is a wage crisis. That that's, that that's been the problem, that this has been an industry issue for years. And obviously there have been many approaches to solving the, the problem of uh, things like the disparity in income between the back of the house and the front of the house in a restaurant, those kinds of things. I'd love to hear each of your thoughts on, on the idea that um, this is calling attention to low wages or, or very disparate wages in the industry. And is this a moment to reset and what can be done? So Nina, maybe start with you. I, I do agree that is, you know, I have been in this industry for quite some time and you look at the highest paid, you know, minimum wage needs to go up. I think the, the wages do need to go up. And I think that over the past year, we've had a lot of people just stop and think and say, I deserve more, which they rightfully do. Um, as an owner, it's not uh, that easy. So what we did at one of our, uh, both of our restaurants, actually, we added a kitchen appreciation um, service charge that actually the guests can leave extra and each um, guest check, the kitchen gets a percentage of that. It's also very tricky as Danny Meyer has done and I applaud him for when he did the no tipping because that is something that has been generational and it's just there is such a divide between the back of the house and the front of the house so this is a, a way of bridging that gap in the sense of the kitchen gets their own gratuity um uh, not interfering with the front of the house if that makes sense 